It's a long and difficult journey, but those working to end female genital mutilation or cutting are headed in the right direction. A groundbreaking report from UNICEF shows that support for the practice is declining, even in countries where it remains widespread. UNICEF analyzed data from 29 countries in Africa and the Middle East where female genital mutilation or cutting, or FGMC as it's referred to, remains prevalent. This report is important because he illustrates for the first time uh, what we know in terms of how widespread is the practice, but also the attitudes surrounding the practice um, and the reasons why this, this practice is continued. It's also the first report that includes data for countries like Iraq, for which we didn't have national representative uh, statistics on FGMC. The organization's new report on FGMC is the most comprehensive compilation of data and analysis on this issue to date. It states that 30 million girls are at risk of being cut within the next decade. Like 10-year-old Keria Abidi from Somalia, many girls her age have already been subjected to FGMC, and the pressure to be cut at home and in school is mounting every day. The centuries-old tradition is deep-rooted in culture. It's often believed that cutting female genitalia preserves a girl's chastity, and a sense of social obligation fuels the continuation of the practice. For the most part, genital cutting is done by traditional practitioners with razors, scissors and blades that are rarely sterilized. More than 125 million girls and women alive today have been subjected to genital mutilation or cutting. For some, the health complications, especially during childbirth, can be life-threatening. I do not want to be circumcised because of the problems you face afterwards. I do not want any part of my body to be cut. It's not just women and girls like Keria who want FGMC to end. UNICEF's report shows a significant number of men and boys also oppose cutting. In Chad, Guinea and Sierra Leone, more men than women are against the practice. The clear programmatic insight from the report is you have to make visible the fact that people in their private sphere don't support the practice. So I may not support it and you may not support it, but I see you cutting your girl and you see me cutting my girl and you think I support it because you see me cutting my girl, but we don't talk. And it's conversations, dialogue and discussions that can bring out the hidden desire to stop female genital mutilation or cutting. The challenge now is to make these voices louder and clearer. Priyanka Pruthi for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org.